guys, today we're going to do a video explaining my thoughts on Crab the Cat, the episode, not the book, and um, what I think of it. Um, so let's get started. So, first of all, the makeup and the artist designers did a, a great job with this cat makeup on the, the mother. She looks pretty good. She did creep me out a little bit in the episode. Um, um, whoever made Ripper's design actually did pretty good too. Um, I like how Crab the Cat, they really did it do a movie studio and it looked really cool. Of course, all movie studios look practically the same, but also at one point in the episode you can see um, a poster or somewhere, something somewhere saying Goosebumps Horrorland. They're making a one day horrorland movie film. So. Yeah, but anyways, um, the story is about a girl, I can't remember her name, and she playing in a movie called Crab the Cat based off the novel made by someone who's not R.L. Stein, Crab the Cat, which isn't actually a real novel, well, the book is by R.L. Stein, but you get the idea. And, um, she's now being tormented by Ripper because she ran him over on her lunch break, um, on her bike. And he was already dead, but uh, technically. But, now, here's the thing. Um, now, her now her blood, every time Rip, Ripper gets her, she's turning more cat-like. And he's taking more of her lives until she dies. So, and, um, I can't remember what happens if Ripper gets it at all. I think he becomes human or something, I'm not sure. Or he's immortal. I don't know. Or has all of his nine lives. I have no idea, guys. I can't. I haven't actually read the book. I'll tell you guys that. So. Yeah. But, uh. Probably Cat is definitely worth watching so far. And I think the ending is okay. Not the biggest twist ender. Um, but, uh. I like how Ripper, spoiler alert, exploded in the basement. I like how they did that. They didn't show it because they already used most of their budget. Because How to Kill a Monster, they still haven't used a lot of their budget when on that exploding scene. They don't have a big budget. Or, either way, they might have not wanted to do that. So, that is my little rant about this episode. That's not actually a downside because I give this episode an 8 out of 10. I think it's great. It's definitely worth watching. And, next time I'll cover you guys with another episode. I'm not going to say what it is, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!